Pestu, the self-proclaimed most celebrated musician of the Korok Forest, is a character whose inclusion in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity likely turned a lot of people's heads. While seeming like the joke character of the game, Hestu's playstyle actually contains just as much power as it does humor, and when fully mastered, he can seriously bring the pain just as much as everyone else. Let's get started and see what this tree can do. Hestu's regular attack string consists of seven attacks. He will shake his maracas, shake his maracas, shake his maracas, and then shake his maracas, followed by shaking his maracas, shaking the maracas, and then he will shoot off lights from his maracas. This attack string is really not where his power lies, and about the best bit of advice I can give on how to use it better is just to remember that Hestu does not actually have to hit the enemy with his actual maracas. The ring of damage that appears after each shake actually does have a decent amount of range to it. Hestu himself is quite a large character, and so if you get right up in your enemy's face it can then be hard to dodge attacks properly. So instead try to use the little bit of distance that he grants you, and you should have no problem utilizing this attack string. Before we get to the many good strong attacks that spring from this, let's take a look at his other most basic attacks first. For Hestu's regular dash attack, he will, of course, stop and shake his maracas. However, the attack that comes out of this one is a little bit bigger than normal. After doing this attack, Hestu can then transition into his regular attack string, starting from the second attack. For his strong dashing attack, Hestu does three running maraca shakes, which also happen to send some fairies off forward, giving this attack a bit of range as well. This strong dash attack is great for picking up KOs on the way to your target, or just sending the ranged fairies off into a crowd for picking up a little bit of special attack charge on the move. For Hestu's aerial attacks, he does a quick three attack string shake of his maracas, from which you can then finish with his strong aerial attack, which sends Hestu plummeting back down to the ground. Last up, we have his Sheikah Slate runes, and starting with his stasis, Hestu will freeze the enemies in front of him, and then appear to do a little maracas dance while they're time locked. This rune is meant to be used in conjunction with Hestu's unique action, which when used will summon Koroks, which stick around for about 30 seconds, who will then join in in some of his attacks. A quick note here, Hestu starts out able to summon 6 Koroks, but this number later increases to 10 through his post-game ability enhancement. With your Korok helpers active, Hestu's stasis rune acts the same, but while your enemy is frozen, the Koroks will begin throwing loads of junk at them, and these pieces together do a decent amount of damage, both to enemy health and enemy weak point gauges. Be careful that you use this at the right range, because there is a kind of sweet spot middle distance. While all of this is going on, Hestu is able to dodge cancel out of his own canned animation, and can then go on to doing whatever else, during which his Koroks will not stop throwing their projectiles forward. All in all, this stasis rune is a fantastic one, and it's also a good reminder to always keep Hestu's Korok helpers out, because you might want to use it at any moment. As a quick bit of advice, I'll just add in here that you don't have to always use his unique action button in order to keep on re-upping your Korok's timer. One of the best ways to keep them always active is to intersperse uses of your special attack, which will have your full crew summoned at the end of it every time. Moving on, for Hestu's Cryonis rune, he will summon an especially large ice block that will start to hop forward on its own. If you are countering enemies' Cryonis weak moves with this rune, this ice block's size alone makes it pretty hard to miss with. But still, you may need to make sure that Hestu is actually pointed in the right direction you want it to go first, as the ice will move forward from wherever his front is. Next up, for Hestu's Magnesis rune, he will suck in enemy weapons and spin them around for damage, before eventually unearthing a treasure chest. And if enemies are hit by this box, it will also force out their weak points. Last up, for Hestu's Remote Bomb rune, he will simply throw a bomb forward. But on top of this, any Koroks that he has out will also throw smaller bombs with him. The range on the Koroks bombs is actually quite small, and if you want them to also hit, you will want to activate this rune very close to your enemy. Even still, some of these bombs inevitably will miss, and it's really not a big deal. With all of Hestu's most basic actions taken care of, let's move on to his strong attacks next. Thank you. 
For Hestu's first strong attack, he will order a volley with his Maracas, which will have either two Koroks appear, or whatever Koroks you currently have out, who then begin lobbing various trash and plants at your enemies. There's actually a small trick to these volleys, and that is, after activating this attack and then you move, the Koroks will actually try to throw their items to the front of wherever Hestu is. So, if you want them to actually hit a specific enemy, you need to make sure that Hestu is still facing forward at them. This means that you could activate this move and then lock onto a foe, and even if you're guarding, you will still be able to do damage against them. For Hestu's second strong attack, he will bring up several Koroks and then send them out on a very quick charge forward. Even without having summoned all of his Koroks, this attack will infrequently summon them all anyways. But of course, if you already did call them out before using this attack, they will all join in for the full charge. I wouldn't say that this move is one of Hestu's strongest ones, but it does offer some quick range damage that you can freely spam in order to pepper down enemies from a distance. So all in all, it is a decent inclusion in his kit. Hestu's third strong attack has him grab onto two hovering Koroks and immediately go flying forward with them, damaging all the enemies that he runs into. Similar to other extended ride type attacks in the series past, this move is very controllable, and can be easily piloted around for whatever purpose you want it to do, either plowing right into a big enemy or perfectly piling into a line-shaped group of enemies. Next up for Hestu's fourth strong attack, he will summon up some flying Koroks who will then independently begin to fly forwards while dropping rocks. This attack is much better when empowered by having all of your Koroks summoned previously, and as they continue to do damage whilst flying forwards, you can move Hestu and do whatever else you want to do with him. This attack is a bit on the slow side, however the amount of damage that it actually deals should not be underestimated. For Hestu's fifth strong attack, he will summon up his Koroks again, this time to fire off a volley of arrows at some targets, which will then explode and then deal damage while also forcing out enemy weak points. The area of effect of this move is huge, and the speed and range that this move has makes it one of the most ideal versions of a weak point exposing attack in the game. Naturally, after using this move, you will want to time lock your enemies with the stasis rune and start to break down their weak points. This is definitely my favorite move for Hestu, however it does have a downside, and that is the fact that it doesn't really work if you start it too close to your enemy, or if the enemy has gotten right up in your face while you were trying to get to this specific move. It really needs a sweet spot in order to hit perfectly. For Hestu's sixth and final strong attack, he will jump onto a large Korok leaf and begin to fly forward, launching into an extended controllable ride that is very similar to his third strong attack. The channeling time on this move is quite long, however it is worth extending to the end because once Hestu hops off his leaf, he will shake his maracas again and that part of the attack will force out enemy weak points just like his fifth strong attack. Though this move isn't nearly as impressive as the previous one, it does have multiple uses, as it is both good for clearing out large group of enemies, or just letting it fully extend when you're in duels in order to have a very mobile weak point exposing attack. Well, with all of Hestu's strong attacks covered, let's move on to builds for his weapons next. Hestu has three possible weapons, and going from weakest to strongest, they are his Maracas, Shaka Maracas, and Shakalaka Maracas. I'll put a chart up on screen to show the hidden level 25 and 30 seals on these weapons, but for my weapon build today, I'm going to be focusing on his Shakalaka Maracas. Since Hestu's Shakalaka Maracas already come with two hexagonal seals, this is just going to be one of the most straightforward weapon build recommendations in this series, period. Everything about Hestu, from his awkward and slow regular attacks, combined with his awesome everything else, just screams that he needs more attack speed. And naturally, that's exactly what you should do, giving him four more full attack speed seals. This will both give him the maximum attack bonus of plus 20, which is given for matching four seals of one shape and two for another, while also fitting in perfectly with his overall playstyle. And there we have Hestu. Let's put everything here together and see how this tree man stacks up. Yeah. 
When fully considering everything that Hestu can do, this self-proclaimed musician really does turn out to be an extremely powerful character. Despite all the positives that become evident in his playstyle when you really buckle down to learn him, it is very easy to understand how this character doesn't usually leave the best first impression with a lot of players. He certainly has his weaknesses, such as his slow attack speed and large size, but built into this game and his own moveset are many different ways that completely counteract this, both from massive attacks that incorporate independent damage zones that free him up to do other things, as well as lots of extended attacks that keep him very mobile throughout it. While Hestu may not be one of the most obvious heroes in this game, he truly is worthy of respect, and is certainly worthy of being called another one of Hyrule rules champions. So, what are your thoughts on Hestu? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if there was anything major about his playstyle that I forgot, go ahead and drop that down there as well. I'll be making a pinned comment on this video if there was anything big that I missed. Until next time everybody, thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to my top patrons DW7 Still Rules, Henry Gutierrez, Javier Castillo, Radiant Archiver, Ryan Poe, and True Tactician, as well as to all my other patrons. Thank you all very much.